Hello everyone, welcome to a coin video. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Jonathan the Coin Collector and my YouTube channel is all about helping beginner, intermediate, and advanced coin collectors with tip videos and coin entertainment content to be able to help you keep on collecting. Today's video is all about a type set that not really anybody's talking about. In fact, I may go as far to say as I created this type set. I'm not saying I'm the first one to do this necessarily because I know I didn't really create it, but I feel like I'm the first YouTuber to actually talk about this online. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about what this type set collection is because you guys, quite frankly, already know by the title and probably thumbnail of this video. That is the Eagle Type Set. So in brief summary, the Eagle Type Set is just a collection of different coins, okay, that have the Eagle design on them. I don't actually have enough of the 2x2 two two holders, uh, not these, but the actual, the folders for the, the folders that hold the 2x2s. Two I don't have enough of those to be able to do this at the moment. I need to order some more, but you can still have a collection without having the fancy tools that make your coin collection look a little bit more professional. So, let me tell you guys what is included within this type set collection. So it's very small compared to the actual US type set, which I have a lot of videos about, and I'll link to those in the description below and on the YouTube card as well. But let's go ahead and start with the small cents. So I don't actually have this one, but the one with the eagle on is the Flying Eagle, which was from 1856 through 1858. Then there's the half dime, which is the capped bust design, which is from 1829 through 1837. And let me just go ahead and say that I am not going to include every single different design where the eagle looks the same. So, for example, like I think the Liberty Seated has like three or four different designs um, on the dime um, where like it's like the arrows or the legend, that type of thing. I'm just going to put one so you can collect any of the types just because the eagle looks the exact same and that's what matters if the eagle changed well then we'd get a different one but if the eagle stays the same we're just doing one so for example another example that's more easy to understand i would say is like on the i actually have it right here on the washington quarter you can pick any of the designs that have this eagle on the back so i chose a silver one just because i had an extra one that's not in my type set anymore since I had a better one for that but I'm putting it in this type set so I will probably focus my priority on I will probably focus my priority on my actual type set and then pass down the ones from my type set to my eagle type set as long as there's an eagle on the design I will also be facing all the eagles to one side so the front so even though it is labeled like this I will probably have it facing this way whenever I actually get the holders but I do not have the folder holders right now. But you can find the link to those if you are interested in purchasing some of those in the description below, along with a lot of other coin collecting supplies that I highly recommend and that I actually own. So let's go ahead and keep talking about what is all in this. And this list will also be in the description below with everything else. So then we have the dimes uh, capped bust, which was from 1809 through 1837, the 20 cent piece, which was the Liberty Seated design from 1875 through 1878. Then we have quarters. So the capped bust from 1815 to 1838, and there's different designs through that. I be, No, I, be, I can't remember. But I know the Liberty Seated had a few different designs, which is also included from 1838 through 1891. Then we have the Liberty Head, also known as the Barber Quarter from 1892 through 1916. Then Standing Liberty, which I actually have right here. Standing Liberty, which show the eagle right there. That is the eagle for the standing liberty. Then we have the Washington design. So this design right there. Then we have half dollars. So there is, okay, back to quarters for a second. Within the state quarters and the America the Beautiful quarters, so far there's actually not been a design with an eagle on any of the backs at all. Uh, I checked, I checked for 2020's designs. I don't know what they're doing for 2021. Like, I don't know what designs they are. I don't know if they've come out with those yet. But as far as I know, none of those got included. So, which is kind of crazy that they went through 50 states and so many different parks and 
landmarks that they didn't actually find or they didn't use it, which it may be to preserve it for the coins that signify the whole U.S. instead of just, you know, one state. So within half dollars, you have the capped bust from 1807 to 1839. Then you have the Liberty Seated from 1839 through 1891. Liberty Head or Barber Head, so Barber Half Dollar from 1892 through 1915, which I have an extra Barber Half Dollar from my hype set. You may have seen that video where I replace it, and I can actually link that in the description below as well with my other type set videos. And this coin is not in the best of shape, but that is an eagle, and I will hope I hope to be updating this whenever I get a better one. Then, next, we have the Liberty Walking, which I also have on hand. This one is from 1942. That's a cool design in and of itself, but the eagle is just amazing. Like, that's beast. Like, this, is just, like, this guy wants to fight or something. So let's go ahead and just slide this over. I think I'm just doing a conveyor belt system here now. Next, we have, what do we have? Next, we have the Franklin. I don't actually have a Franklin, but that's from 1948 through 1963. Then we have a Kennedy, which is 1964 to date, and I didn't have an extra 1964, uh, which is what I wanted to use, but I did, and I just dropped a coin, but I did have this cool one, which is from 1985, and it's a proof, and it's from San Francisco. So on the back, really nice, shiny design, the best one actually that I have, like the shiniest, that's because it's a proof. So let's go and just slide these over. Next, we have the silver dollars so there's the liberty seated which was from 1840 to 1873 don't have that one there's the trade dollar from 1873 to 187 or sorry 1885 i don't have that one as well uh there's the morgan and peace which i do have a piece but i don't have extras of those the morgan was from 1878 through 1921 and the piece was 1921 through 1935 and sorry that i'm speaking fast i'll, I'll start slowing down a little bit so that you can understand me better because i i i can see how I'm just kind of sounding like I am rambling. The next one is the Eisenhower dollar, which was from 1971 through 1978, and I do have an extra one of those. I believe this is the one I actually just traded out of my type set in the last type set update video, which will also be linked in the description below. So the nice, beautiful eagle in on the back. Love that design so much. Then we have the normal dollars, so the small dollar coins, and the first one within this is the Susan B. Anthony, which was from 1979 through 1999, which is right here, and this is the 1979 from Philadelphia, which is the narrow rim, did I, did I make that an M? I don't know why I made that an M. Bone marrow rim, I'm kidding. Nice, it's actually the same design, which is really cool. Look at that, that's amazing. But yeah, that is in the collection. Then, the last actual piece of currency that you can spend, and I'll get into that in a, in a second, uh, it'll make sense, which is the Sacagawea dollar, which is from 2000 to 2008, and this one is the 2000 and P, I don't know why I said and P, like it was like I'm trying to say a year, but I just added the P, from Philadelphia, and that beautiful eagle design on the back, and Within the Native American dollars, there's not one yet that signifies an eagle yet. It could change. I doubt it will. Um, but that is all the actual currency that you can buy, not buy, that you can spend. Uh, and let me explain that. So they have commemorative dollars, okay? And I was trying to find out if I should, you know, include commemorative dollars in this whole entire new collection. And I decided I, I wish they just had one, you know? So... I looked through my red book. I highly recommend getting a red book. Uh, I actually have a whole video about that, which I'll link below and in the YouTube card. And it's a fantastic coin collecting resource for beginners all the way up to expert level. But I was looking through that and I found that they actually have a coin. And this coin is called the Bald Eagle Recovery and National Emblem. And it was made in 2008. So they have a half dollar, a dollar, and a gold five dollar. The gold five dollar is actually worth about three hundred dollars the half dollar is worth 15 i believe and the dollar is worth 30. i have not gotten it yet i hope to get it soon and here's a picture of that so you can see the three different designs my personal favorite is the half dollar just because it shows an eagle at its beginning stages of life since it's the baby eagles in the nest and these are all adults or at least it looks like they're all more adults i could see that one passing for a teenager 
that's definitely an adult. And I will be making typeset update videos, eagle typeset up videos, uh, eagle typeset update video, eagle typeset update videos. That's hard to say. Eagle typeset update videos as well as my typeset update videos. If you'd like to send me any of these uh, that I listed, just go ahead and email me at coininfoemail at gmail.com and that will be in the description below. So please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and if it opened your eyes to a whole new collection. I recommend you start collecting this because not many people do and it's it's honestly really satisfying since it's all the same thing. It's all an eagle and I love all of these designs. Comment below on what your favorite design out of this is or what your favorite eagle design is on any of the coins. Go ahead and check out my other videos about type sets or just any of my other channel videos and they do help you out a ton, especially my tip videos if you are a beginner. Even if you're intermediate or expert, they still can help you out as well. Definitely hit the subscribe button if you did enjoy because I am going to tell you guys the next video I am posting. So this is coming out on a Monday. On Wednesday, so this video came out on a Monday. If you are watching it the day of, on Wednesday, the next time I upload, I will be talking about the best way to find coins as a beginner coin collector. So beginners especially, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell uh, to be notified whenever that video comes out. If you have any questions, leave those in the comment section below and I'd love to talk to you guys down there. But that is the end of this video. Go check out a few of my other ones if you would like to. And as always, keep on collecting.